From a young age, I was already knee-deep in the self-pleasure game. Yep, that's right, I was exploring the vast wonders of the internet and stumbling upon some freaky stuff before I even hit puberty. Now, before you start judging and calling me the Fab King, let's just keep it 100. We've all had our moments of naughty indulgence, so let's not pretend like we're all saints here. I don't necessarily have anything against dudes jerking off. If that's your prerogative, by all means, I think we can agree that we all need to release from time to time. However, for a lot of you watching this right now, this little self-pleasure hobby of yours might have turned into a full-time job. And look, I'm not here to judge your solo adventures or send you on a guilt trip to Masturbationville. Like I said, we're all adults here and we all have needs. It's just one of these battles that men need to face daily between their brain and their pants and unfortunately, sometimes the pants win. Happens to the best of us. But that's also exactly why today I want to talk to you about the importance of sexual discipline. More specifically, I want to talk about why sexually disciplined men usually tend to be the men who get exactly what they want. And that includes not only dating and women, but what they want when it comes to the game of life. Now, before I'm gonna take a deep dive into the subject and explain the benefits, I think we should start by defining what sexual discipline actually means. A lot of young men in the NoFab community thinking that sexual discipline is all about just not touching their pee pee. You heard me, pee pee. But in doing so, they actually fail to understand that the purpose behind the idea transcends way beyond that. Sexual discipline is not just about abstaining from pornography or masturbation, it's much more profound. It means having the ability to master your desires, resist the temptations and redirect your sexual energy towards, let's say, more positive endeavors. It's about you becoming a man who doesn't fall prey to every passing desire or who constantly engages in these mindless hookups. In a nutshell, sexual discipline is about taking charge of your own life. Now, I made the decision to quit watching porn altogether quite some time ago, and I have to say that the impact has been truly remarkable. All those claims you hear about gaining mental clarity and getting more focus, well, they're not just empty promises, they're actually all true. It's like I lifted a fog that had been clouding my mind for far too long. And here's the best part. Not only did my mental game level up, but my overall confidence and self-assuredness went through the roof as well. I don't know, it's just like I found myself more attuned with my own identity, more secure in who I was as a person. And it's a funny thing, really, because as I started to feel more aligned with myself, the world seemed to pick up on it. Call it coincidence or some kind of crazy cosmic energy, or Maybe it's just the good old pheromones, but my overall charisma seemed to take on a life of its own. And for a second, I thought that it was just my imagination. But you know what? It really wasn't. More and more people began showing, you know, genuine interest in getting to know me. Especially women, I'm not gonna lie. They started to give me like, who is this guy kind of vibe, you know, they that, that look. And I think it was mainly because I felt so much more in tune with myself and you know women they they just they sense these things they pick up on these things and it's honestly not even that complicated when you think about it it's a simple consequence of you focusing on the right things and as a result you feeling good about yourself and as a result of that women feeling good about you it's just a simple positive confirmation loop but why is it so important for us men to practice sexual discipline in the first place well first and foremost there's plenty of benefits in you not mindlessly chasing an endless pool of women on the internet and I'll get to that in a bit. But I think that the main reason is because sexual discipline builds character in a nutshell, right? It's not just about reaping the rewards, although the rewards are definitely sweet, I'm not gonna lie, but it's about building character. It's about showing to the world and more importantly showing to yourself that you've got the fortitude and self-control to resist immediate temptation in exchange for something greater in the long run. Think about it. In a world where instant gratification is just one swipe away, being able to say, nah, you know, not right now, I've got bigger plans. That takes some serious self-control. You're literally flexing your willpower muscles and letting that inner bitch know who the real boss is. It's about understanding that the late satisfaction can be so much more fulfilling than any fleeting pleasure you can find at the click of a button. And again, I'm not judging anyone here. I'm not trying to come across as the masturbation police or anything. I'm just saying, as a guy who basically spent his entire 20s chasing women, trying to get laid, I can first-handedly tell you that it wasn't really worth 
worth it. Like all those countless hours and energy I wasted in the pursuit of ejaculation and, you know, validation as well, if I'm being really honest, all of that could have been invested in something far more meaningful. And I know that for many guys, that can be very difficult to grasp. If you don't actually have the ability to get laid pretty easily because you like good game, good looks, like whatever your limiting belief may be, it is hard to fathom that that thing, that thing wouldn't be exactly the thing you want if you could get it. That that thing wouldn't make you happy. That actually reminds me of a quote that Jim Carrey once said. I hope everybody could get rich and famous and will have everything they've ever dreamed of so they will know that it's not the answer, right? It's only when you've actually had or experienced something that you can confidently say, hey, do you know what? I don't really need this in my life. And I think the same thing applies to dating and women. Unfortunately, so many men today are so sexually depraved that they can't imagine it to be any other way than to put women on this pedestal and to regard them as the ultimate pinnacle of success and fulfillment. And as a result, most men genuinely believe that chasing a bunch of chicks or having a girlfriend is going to be the answer to all their problems and they chase after it like a thirsty hyena, thinking that once they achieve that, everything else will somehow magically fall into place. And quite honestly, it's no surprise. If we look at the manosphere, for example, there is this idea idea that you need to sleep with as many women as possible before you settle down. I think it was Myron from Fresh and Fit who once said like that as a man your body count needs to be at least 50 or above. I usually agree with most of the things Myron says but here is where I respectfully disagree. I understand the reasoning behind it. The idea is to gain a range of sexual and, you know, relational experiences to broaden a man's understanding of different dynamics. But the flip side, which many just seem to ignore, is that in doing so, many men end up becoming slaves to their own lust. They get so caught up in the numbers game that they forget about the deeper meaning of relationships. Besides, don't you think that if you feel the need that you need to sleep with at least 50 women in order to be able to distinguish distinguish the decent ones from the more promiscuous ones, perhaps your filtering skills could use a little upgrade? I don't know, man. Just saying. Let me put it this way. Do you really need to devour 50 apples to understand what an apple tastes like? I mean, sure, you can try different varieties, but at some point, you do start to realize that the core essence remains pretty much the same. Saying you have to sleep with as many women as possible to recognize a good one from a bad one is like saying you have to swim in every ocean to know what water feels like. It's, it's a slippery slope. And the same principle does apply to relationships. Because while each connection may be unique, there are common threads that weave through all of them. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that all women are this or all women are that. I think we've done enough blaming each other in the past couple of years when it comes to this subject and I genuinely do believe that women truly are amazing. They bring joy, they bring love, they bring companionship into a man's life. But I'm telling you straight up, straight up, they are not the key to eternal happiness and fulfillment. That is something that you have to find within yourself. And like I said, I've been there. I've been the guy who believed that spending time with a chick would solve all my problems and make me feel whole again, just to find out the hard way that it didn't. Because here's something you probably already knew. Relationships, whether romantic or not, they require work. They require a lot of effort, compromise, and understanding. And if you're expecting a woman to become this sole source of your happiness, you're basically just setting yourself up for disappointment. And that is on you. That is not on her. That is 100% on you. And this is another reason for me why practicing that sexual discipline and harnessing that energy is so important because it is only when you can exude a certain level of self-assuredness that you can become a magnet and attract the finer things in life. Which brings me to the next part of this video, the benefits of practicing sexual discipline. First off, let's talk about the science behind this subject. When we're indulging in excessive sexual activities, we're basically just over flooding our brain with dopamine, which is the pleasure hormone, right? It's kind of like throwing a wild party for your brain cells but eventually, the party ends and your brain is left hungover and depleted. It's basically the law of diminishing returns, where each meaningless sexual encounter leaves you more hungry instead of less hungry for a profound connection with the opposite sex, which then again only intensifies these feelings of loneliness, the longing for more depth and substance, etc. But when you embrace sexual discipline, you give your brain a chance to recover from all that and restore its dopamine levels to its natural baseline. It's 
basically like hitting the reset button on your brain's pleasure system. And so when I made the conscious decision to prioritize sexual discipline, something truly remarkable happened. Like I just felt my mind became so much sharper, so much clearer, and more focused than ever before. And all of this happened in a matter of a few days up until a few weeks. And so that fog, that fog that I was referring to earlier, that was really clouding my thoughts, it was lifted which allowed me to see things with a newfound sense of clarity. And I know it sounds cliche, like I really do, but it's 100% true. I could concentrate on my goals again. I could make better decisions and approach life with this sense of purpose. I just wasn't distracted any longer by these fleeting desires or impulsive urges all the time. Instead, I harnessed my mental energy towards pursuits that truly matter to me, like making these videos, for example. Another thing that I really noticed was that overall, I felt emotionally much more stable, like much more grounded. And I think it's because when we break free from this cycle of fleeting pleasures and instant gratifications, we learn to navigate you know, the complexities of our emotions with a little bit more grace and resilience. Instead of being tossed around by these turbulent waves of hormones that the average male experience every single day, I experienced this sense of calm again that I hadn't felt in a very long time. Man, let me tell you, practicing sexual discipline genuinely completely transformed my understanding of myself as a man. I was able to explore and define my own values again, like my desires and limits in a way I was never really capable of before. It allowed me to establish a strong sense of self and develop a clear understanding of what I want and deserve in my relationships and interactions with others. Not only sexually, by the way. I no longer felt like I was just going with the flow or being influenced by societal expectations. Instead, I just became much more intentional about my time, about my energy, and about my interactions as a whole. And this self-awareness really empowers me to really reflect first on whether the things that I'm doing are genuinely congruent with my authentic self and to set healthy boundaries and walk away if they don't. And man, I gotta tell you, it is very liberating to know yourself on such a deep level and to live in alignment with your own principles. Like honestly, like you can't really put a price tag on that. Another thing is you'll start to notice that this will have a spillover effect into other areas of your life, like your career, your friendships, your families, and yes, also the thing that most of you guys are probably most interested in, which is dating with women. Why? Because you exude a certain confidence that's just very difficult to fake. When you're not desperate for attention or validation like most men are if we're just being really honest like you definitely stand out from the crowd there's no doubt about it women are drawn to this masculine energy that you radiate that energy which gives them the feeling that you're a man of substance now let me give you an example before practicing sexual discipline I used to be that guy who would try to impress a woman, like trying to gain her approval. And you know what? It rarely worked in my favor. I would end up feeling drained and unfulfilled from constantly chasing this elusive validation. But once I embraced these simple concepts, something changed. I became more confident in my own skin as a result of focusing more on building genuine connections instead of chasing that quick fix. And women started gravitating towards me more naturally. It's like they could sense that I wasn't playing games or trying too hard. I was just being myself. And if you like it, you like it. And if you don't, well, there is the door. Bye bye. Now, I'm not saying that doing this guarantees you'll land a date with every woman you meet. Let's be realistic here. But what I am saying is that it elevates your game. It gives you a certain edge and an aura of self-assurance that piques women's curiosity and makes them want to get to know you a bit better. And here is the interesting part of it. When you approach dating with a mindset of sexual discipline, you're no longer desperate on validation. You're looking for something deeper and more meaningful. So automatically you'll become more selective since you're seeking a genuine connection, one that is based on mutual respect, shared values, and emotional compatibility, which in the long run will help you to attract women who appreciate you for who you truly are. So, in conclusion, my friend, sexual discipline is not just about abstaining from casual hookups or controlling your physical urges. It's a powerful tool that can transform your life in a way you never imagined. Not to mention, you will do better with the ladies. So, Habibis, 
I would 100% encourage you to give it a try and just see the results for yourself. If you've done so already and if you already tried this out, please comment below and let us know your thoughts, like what were the results for you? And in the meantime, make sure to stay savage.